Many homeowners have a lot of sun hitting their roof and they want to harvest that solar energy. If that's you, buckle up, I'll take you for a ride. Hi, I'm Jim Singletary, and today we're talking about solar and which roof type is right for you. Spoiler alert, it's metal, price aside. But that's not the only one that'll work. All roof types can work with solar. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of each so that you can make a good informed decision for you. So the reason that you would consider metal over asphalt or almost any other type of roof for a solar panel installation is because of really three main things. You've got low maintenance. So when you install solar panels, what you're doing is creating a shade structure on your roof, right? So you've got your roof and then you're putting a panel on it. And now you've got, well, forever shade. Any debris stays down there and it maybe washes down, but sometimes we get a gentle rain. And so it just sort of gets wet. So guess what? You're gonna grow a lot of moss under there if you have anything that's grippy, like an asphalt roof. Most people aren't gonna tell you that, Certainly most solar installers aren't gonna mention that because they're just there to sell you the panel. Problem though, is you have all these maintenance requirements that they don't tell you about because it's not the panel, it's the roof. But you get this forest of solar panels and you, you can't crawl under it. You can't even get a pole under it. You can't really even see under it unless you get up there, crawl around and look with a flashlight. It's a huge problem that is often just completely overlooked. With metal, even if you neglect it, that metal is gonna be fine. It's sort of like if you, if you park a car outside never wash it, but it's sort of in the field. It'll get dirty, but you can just wash it later and it'll still be fine. Number two, usually for people getting solar, they're a little more eco-friendly, a little more environmentally conscious. If you have an asphalt roof, that is just a disposable roof. With solar, you're gonna get 15 to 20 years out of that roof when it's brand new because you're creating all that shade and all the holes for all the mounts. If you don't want to be part of the throwaway culture doing metal is not going to wear out, right? You're going to get 40 to 70 years out of that thing. And your panels are modular. You can simply upgrade them later. Take them off, put the new ones on, roof is unaffected. You're not throwing away your roof all the time. You're not creating more landfill issues. And then someday when your metal roof needs to be replaced, it can be recycled. Number three is the future proofing, right? So I just kind of mentioned that a little bit, like you can upgrade your panels without replacing the roof. Look at it the other way. Let's say that you put solar onto an asphalt roof and, and I'm not wrong and you get 15 years out of it or, or less, which is really common. You realize the roof is shot. Well, now your solar panels are fine, but they're kind of in the way of replacing that roof or fixing the roof or maintaining the roof or anything else related to the roof. What that means is with inflation, whatever you paid for the system today, you get to pay those installers if they're still around to come and carefully take off the panels, set them on the ground, wait for the roof to get done, and then you get to pay them to come pick them back up, haul them back up the ladder, and reinstall them on the new roof. So now you've basically paid, with inflation, the same cost to do the system again as soon as your roof is worn out. Future proofing, thinking forward a little bit, spending a little bit more now, means that you have a lot less heartache in the future. So there's different types of metal roofing, and commonly they're known as standing seam and stamped metal. Stamped metal is made to look like something else. So that's gonna be a product that is interlocking. It looks like maybe a tile roof or a slate roof. Installing solar panels, you wanna use standing seam, but there's actually a narrow subset of standing seam that it works well on. If you have um, either mechanical seam or you've got the narrow seam snap lock, those are the golden ones for um, for installing solar panels because you can simply clamp to it without any penetrations in the roof. It's, it's perfect. What are your options with other roof types? So if you do an asphalt shingle roof, the only way to install that solar panel is to drill through the roof. Everywhere that you're gonna have that bracket system holding up those panels, you have a hole in the roof. Of course, they claim that they waterproof those and everything, and you know maybe they do, maybe they don't, but if they make a mistake, good luck getting to it, right? It's now buried under the field of, of solar panels. So which one is leaking? Give me a break. What we could do on our end with your roof is we can do things underneath it to sort of help to cauterize the wound. We've got ice and water shield, which is a rubberized peel and stick, basically a gasket that goes down over the roof. You know, in a conversation, we can figure out where your solar is going to be 
and we can put that puppy on the whole roof facet so that even if there's oversaturation from moss or just never drying out, it's still not gonna make it through to the wood, right? So you're not gonna get a leak, even though it'll look like hell under there over time. Making sure that the ventilation is exactly right. So that even if you get saturation in that roof system, the air moving underneath will sort of help to dry it out over time. For another common option, you have maybe a tile roof. A lot of people think that a tile roof is one of those forever roofs. It should last a long time. Yes, if it's a clay roof. Almost all the roofs in the Seattle area are cement. So they look great. Builders put them up. They tell you it's gonna last forever and they do in California. <laughs> Here it rains and it wears the glazing off and you end up with an exposed aggregate. And that's when it starts to really saturate and soak water. It turns into this big sponge and then you get a freeze thaw and it starts to break down, crack, crumble, especially if somebody walks on it. If you have what most people have around here, which is a cement tile roof, and it's more than 10 years old, I really wouldn't recommend putting solar on it because they're probably gonna break it just working on it. And you have to you know, drill through this concrete. It's gonna be very expensive. If you're installing a new tile roof, what we can do is recommend you get a clay tile roof so you never touch this thing again and that puppy lasts for you know centuries, like literally centuries. It's a product that can't get waterlogged. It's amazing. If it comes from Spain, it's awesome. One of the downsides though is you'll still get that permanent shade and you'll get stuff growing underneath. With chemicals and everything, you know, you can kind of treat it and keep on top of it and we provide that service. The third one is, is, is stamped metal. So it's that kind of other subset of, of metal roofs. That one, because everything interlocks, you, you can't really do much with that unless you just drill right through the top if you already have a stamped metal roof. If you're thinking about getting one and doing solar, then we want to do things ahead of time. We can install the brackets ahead of time so that it's, it's up underneath the roof before the interlock and it becomes part of the interlock and it comes up so that it's part of that, that sleeve. So if you're looking to do solar, we want to be your partner. So whether you want to do an asphalt roof, metal roof, tile roof, or whatever, give us a call, fill out the form, I'd be happy to come out, just have an honest conversation with you about the pros and the cons for your situation, and come up with the right plan for you. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Let's get together and we can nail it.